What's up, Madden 17 fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's video. Today's video is going to give you some insight into how to lab effectively in Madden NFL 17, and actually it's going to work for every Madden going forward. This is primarily going to focus on the offensive side, and the, the biggest tip that I can give you on offense is testing. Um, testing is important, experimenting. One, one friend of mine, he uses the phrase, if you see a weird route, try it out. And uh, so we're going to show you how to do that. So basically, from your home screen, you want to navigate over to practice mode. So you want to go to open practice. Personally, I think it's always best to go in with two controllers. That way, you can control the coverages that the defense is, that the defense is going to give you. And you want to pick just you know. For me, I like to lab against the Oakland Raiders, just because I think they have the one of the better defenses in the game uh, from a speed and, and uh, agility perspective. The defensive playbook that you want to go against uh, is normally some type of 4-3. I'm going to lab against the Cincinnati defensive playbook today because that's, in my opinion, the best defensive playbook you can use. And then on offense, if you maybe want to lab two playbooks, this is where you would select your second uh, your second selection. So for me, uh, I was going to look at uh, Denver. Or no, I'll, I'll put... Uh, I'll actually show you guys a little something out of Denver. So I was going to look at uh, Indianapolis. And then we want to check and make sure their uniforms are, are not white because I'm going to go with white. So you just kind of want to set up your practice mode um, the best you can. And then I normally go in with the Cowboys. That's just because I personally think they have the best, I think they have the best offensive weaponry. Uh, I just really like their team. And I'm obviously a Cowboys fan, so you know it doesn't hurt to be able to use your favorite team in the game. But, uh, so yeah, then I go all white. I go one team is pretty much dark and one team is white, and that's kind of how I do it. You know, I don't know if you guys need that, obviously, but just wanted to give you that. And then advanced settings, this is where you want to pick the playbook you want to lab. So for me, I'm going to work out of Denver today. And then on the defense, the core finding defense, you can, you know, I'm, I'm just going to mess around with some 4-6 potentially if I want to stay in for a long lab session. So while this is loading up, what I want to tell you real quickly is you really want to find, uh, what I like to say is you want to find a power formation. And over the course of the next couple series of videos, we're going to show you that. Um, this is kind of the foundation, and we're going to show you what makes a power formation in about, eight, within a, over the course of about five to seven videos, we're going to show you what truly uh, the pillars are of a, of a power formation and what you want to look for. But what I want to show you today in our short time together is this concept if you see a weird route, try it out. So we're just going to go into practice mode here, and we're just going to look for some type of, and all of our plays, we're just going to go through and try to find a weird route. And um, primarily what I like to look for this year is post routes and that kind of thing. We like to lab. I like to lab against the nickel blitz. So uh, let's just pick some random formation. So say, say we want to look at maybe this gun doubles halfback week. We come in here and what we want to do is try to find some kind of weird route that could potentially be unique. Uh, so like this PA Bronco post, you have that cool little post route on the right side. Um, this Bronco mesh. So what I'm going to look at is this Bronco's fake rub. I think I can do some cool things with it. So if you look at this play, we have a really deep post route to Williams. Des Bryant is on a like an inverted streak. Zeke's on a little blue route. And so what you want to do is you want to just kind of snap the ball and see what everybody does. Um, and then you can kind of go into instant replay then and kind of check it out. So, And what you want to look for is you just want to look for you know things that seem you know kind of interesting to you. So for example, um, Ezekiel Elliott actually picks up the nickel blitzer. So that's something that's that's powerful because most running backs don't are not able to pick up the nickel blitzer. The guy on the right side or the left side, Cole Beasley, he runs a little uh, like a little delayed trail route, which is kind of unique and kind of neat. So we might be able to play around with that a little bit. Um, if you take a look here on the right side, that deep post route is coming open about now. Um, so that's a little bit late. Maybe we can smart route it and make it a little shorter. So, and then you just kind of keep tinkering against it. So now we want to audible to man coverage and kind of see uh, what it does against man to man. Uh, so now one adjustment I'm going to make is I'm going to smart route Williams, and I'm going to put Bryant on like an in pattern and motion Beasley in a few steps to kind of test it out and see um, see if it beats man. And there I got pressured. Probably not a good look there. So. 
we'll go back and do it again and just kind of give Beasley just a little baby in motion there, a little, little slip. As you can see, it's not it's not beating man there, but what I did notice uh, from looking at it was that there's a potential that I could be, beat it on like a snap throw. So snap throw it, and there you see there's that trail route beating man to man. So and you just kind of go through and you just you really just kind of tinker it. And, and it's honestly, it's 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 comp it's it's not you know it's not a hundred percent systematic method you just kind of like I said experiment and that's what I wanted to talk about today um, it's just kind of see so one thing I want to see now is like Des Bryant's route doesn't get bumped can I inside pass lead that well I hit in there as you saw so it and I could maybe maybe against zone I can get a good look here and kind of fit that in as you see there so the the nickel blitz you know maybe this is a good play against that nickel blitz because everything kind of works and I can inside pass lead that route to Dez and kind of cut it off to an extent. Um, and you, again, you just kind of keep tinkering it. How far do I motion Cole Beasley in? You know, maybe that's something that you want to look at. As you can see, that that aggressive catch to Dez is actually working out pretty good. If we smart route Williams route, you know, does it interrupt here? As you can see, it's a really, really deep route. It's not as good as Z-Spot by far, I mean, but... You know, you just kind of keep tinkering with this play. And then the next kind of step is to look at different, you know, your different options here. So that PA Bronco post play is in our quick audibles. Well, now we want to check and see how does that post route fare. Um, and as you can see here, it looks pretty good, actually. So you just kind of keep going with that. You keep experimenting. Keep trying to find it. You want to run it against different coverages. That's kind of the first step. And, uh, and tomorrow we're going to talk about kind of the foundation. Once you've got a play... Then what else do you do? Once you once you kind of have a decent play you want to work around, then we'll show you kind of the next step. So get in the lab, try this out. Obviously, we're gonna you know go in and out of different formations, but with our short time together today, I just wanted to kind of get this across. If you're looking to get better on offense, you're looking to lab, experiment. Okay, if you see a weird route, try it out. Try it out against different coverages. Try it out again with different pass leads. There's just so many options this year, guys. It really is kind of fun to experiment and test things out. Uh, so just want to leave you with that. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you can be notified when new videos go live and uh, more tips and strategies for you to come.